somebody came and done scorched the earth. But instead of killing what they wished was dead, they went and killed our hope instead. Oh, but don't despair. You see, hope is real hard to eradicate. What I'm trying to say is that it's still there. You can feel it under the surface on the nights when you hold real still and squint your eyes shut at the brightness of the stars, and you can hear it pressed against the concrete sidewalks trying to find a weak spot to work its way into the world. Oh, hope is there, all right, just biding its time. It's in everything we do, if you know how to look, it's always there, just waiting. But what they don't tell you, what they don't say, is that maybe a little bit of hope found its way into you. You gotta dig real deep to find it, but I promise you it's there, planted in the furrows of our brow, in the nooks and crannies of our broken hearts. It's in that bed of promise and ambition, deep down in the soul where the hope takes root, where it's fertilized with reservations and a sprinkling of doubt, because that stuff is crap. Water it with sweat and tears and it'll be plowed, don't worry about that, plowed down and over and around by those who don't believe, you gotta get used to that. But hope is resilient. And given time and the proper dose of daily dreams and visions, it'll uh, unfurl and become one giant hope tree which we can all eat the fruits of. Pass it on down the line, have a hope eating contest with hope berry pie and homemade hope cobbler and rhubarb hope which no one but your grandpa likes. And it will keep on growing until everything we do is made from hope, we'll gas our cars and weave our clothes and I'll clean my glasses with it until there's so much hope that they're given away at low, low prices even after Christmas sales because hope is the perfect gift. It comes in all colors and all sizes and can be tailored to fit your needs and goes really well with wine. Yeah. Yeah. And CNN will comment on the hope surplus for this month while they stockpile it in great warehouses to give to the less fortunate. So go on. Let us take that first step. Have the audacity to believe in something. Believe that you will change the world somehow. Believe in good and truth and people and things and everything. They tell you not to trust because trust is where it starts and hope is where it grows. And we've all seen what hate and war and death can do. It takes and it maims and kills and ravages those tender tendrils growing up. But they won't be stopped when you believe in the power of your thoughts against the silver domed heavens. Shake the very roots from which you spring and dare disturb the universe. All will tremble before your grand thoughts and great ideals, which may be too large for one small person because your ideals are mighty. So like Johnny, idealistic apple seed, keep on spreading those little seeds of hope. Put them everywhere you go and don't forget to smile. Keep on moving and shaking and keep on keeping on and in 20 years, maybe 40, when I'm as old as the hills, I will still stand behind these convictions and ideals because I know I've chosen wisely. And I can get behind the message we convey because you can hear it everywhere. Simple. Hope. Hope keeps echoing back, clear as a bell, loud as a whistle, shooting up one frail tendril that will break up this gray concrete and turn our cities green with hope. <laughs>